Hey guys, Ivan here, and in case you haven't watched the new RX Muscle interview with Steve Weinberger, the IVB head judge, the head judge at the Mr. Olympia contest, here is one part that I found really interesting, and it is about Hari Chopin, obviously. Basically, he was asked why Hari placed third, why he wasn't second or first. And here is Steve's response, Steve's explanation. When you take Hadi Shupin into this equation, obviously a guy we never thought we were going to see on the Olympia stage because of visa issues, then we thought he was going to be a 212 guy. Were you impressed with him? I don't know if this was the first time you judged him or not, but were you impressed I with what you saw? I judged him in Italy. I judged him in Italy. Um, okay. I, I knew what to expect. I know he's dangerous. I know he's really good. I don't, I don't know why he didn't try to cut down and do 212. That's what I thought, yeah. Would he have easily won 212, you think? This year, probably. Yeah, yeah. Pretty disappointed in Lunsford. Yeah. We'll get and get to that in a minute. Let's go back to Heidi Shoop. And a lot of fans out there, and obviously, you know, when you're not at the show, it's very, you, you, you can't judge a show by pictures, you know. He's very impressive because of his conditioning and, and, and the polish that he brings to this stage. Why didn't Heidi Shoop and challenge Bonac and, and um, Curry in your mind? I think he needed more size upstairs. Really? Okay, so you think it's a size issue with him? Yes. It wasn't well, a height he, issue? He was in excellent condition. He yeah. really wasn't a height issue as much as it was a, a muscle mass issue. Mm -hmm. Now, when you look at a guy like Hadi Shupin, is it hard to compare, as a judge, is it hard to compare him next to other guys like a Curry that's so much taller than him? No. Honestly, it's not. Mm -hmm. So there you go, it's the size problem actually. And another reason why I actually made this video is because the comments are disabled on the original video, on the full interview, which I definitely encourage you to watch because it is a really good one and maybe you can learn more about how the judging works from the head judge himself, Steve Weinberger. So let's talk about this a little bit more. Well, he says it's the upper body mass that was the problem. And I can really understand this I mean, because if you look at his legs, you cannot really make an argument that anything is missing. I mean, these legs are huge. They are very, 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 very conditioned. They are detailed through the quads and the glutes and the hamstrings, everything pretty much. Calves could be a little bit bigger, but I mean, those quads were insane. Overall, lower body, very, very good. Now, if you go upstairs, I mean, you can notice that his chest is also pretty good, pretty full. But what is he actually lacking is arms. His arms could be a little bit bigger. Forearms, arms, and also his lower back. The upper part, shoulders are fine, the traps and all that, but the lower back details and thickness could be a little bit better. And if he had that, he would be a much better bodybuilder, but the arms also. So, I mean, I understand. I get what he's saying. I mean, Bonac was fuller upstairs. And pff, Brandon, way, way cooler. So it's a good argument. It's definitely a good argument. And I mean, this guy is the head judge. He knows how the judging works better than everyone. I mean, let's not even question that. But what do you guys think? Do you think this judging criteria is fine? Or would you disagree with him? Would you judge the show differently? Would you give Hari better placement simply because of his conditioning? Or because of the structure or whatever? Because I noticed that many, many people think that Hadi deserved better, that he was robbed, that he deserved at least to be second place, and some people even think that he deserved to be a winner. He deserved to be the Mr. Olympia champion. So, I mean, if you are really a hardcore bodybuilding fan, I'm sure you already watched the full interview just like I have as soon as it got out. But if you haven't, there is a one part that was interesting. Anyways, the reason of me making this video again is to give you guys a platform to comment, because you cannot comment in the original video. So tell me what you think about this part, and if you have any other interesting parts of the interview, let me know down below in the comment section, maybe you can make another video from this one, because this is really important. This is the head judge, the IIBB head judge, Steve Weinberger. He's one of the decision makers, really, I mean, it's not about him, it's not only him. There are other judges, of course, but he's the head judge, he has been doing this, this job for a long time, and it is stupid to question whether he knows how to judge a show, whether he knows what is the criteria, because he is actually creating the criteria. Now, what we can actually discuss is whether his criteria is good or bad. So, what do you think? Do you think he was right by putting Hari in third place? Would you give him higher placement? Do you think it's real what he says, that his upper body was a problem? Or was it just politics? <laughs> Whatever you think, his thumb down below in the comment section. Don't forget to do that. And guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like it. Also, go to RX Muscle and watch the full interview if you haven't already. It's a really good one. You're going to enjoy it. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. 
Subscribe once again, like the video. All the best. Bye-bye.